you find any place that feels strange, any sensation in your body as you scan your body now? Give me a minute. All right. In my third eye. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sounds like some okay, very good. heaviness maybe there. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay, may I now ask Archangel Michael to put his net around the third eye area and to fully enclose the third eye area and any other areas in this one's body that may be holding this energy that we just detected to fully enclose the whole energy that we just found in the third eye area and around that so i want you to focus on that sensation you're feeling there and let me know if this sensation would have a color what kind of color would that sensation be? It would be charcoal gray. Oh, very good. Okay, very good. So, and I want you to allow this color to speak. If this color, this grayish color could speak now, what would it say today? I don't really want to talk. All right. I can understand that. But you know, <coughs> this is your chance to speak to us today. It is your chance to say who you are and explain to us why you are there. Could you tell us how you got there in the third eye? I'm a machine. I was placed here. All right. Very good. Who placed you there? Can you tell us? Those above me, those who want me to do my work. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you. Tell us more about those who want you to do your work. I'm a program. Mm -hmm. I've been programmed to stop the connection to higher realms, this one's higher self. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Who I've been here for a long time. Okay. Can you tell us who is it? that put you there? Who are your masters? Who created you? Archon. Oh, very good. Okay. All right. And you know- I have devices going down into, down her throat, into her shoulders. Uh -huh. Can you tell us why? Your devices are going down to her shoulders, to her throat. Actually, even down her spine. Okay, all right. Very good. What are your devices doing? Like collecting information. Collecting information, yes. Stopping her from connecting to higher realms, her higher self, source. 
All right. And how is this affecting her life? <clears throat> it prevents her from being able to connect on a deeper level. Connect. She will find it confusing to connect to her <clears throat> higher self. We prevent her from talking. All right. You prevent her from talking. What's, what is she not supposed to say? She's not supposed to connect with others on a higher level. She's to be kept down, squashed down. And why is that? Why would you? What, what's the threat? What would happen if she would connect to others there? She would pass her light and connect to others on a higher level. Mm -hmm. And what would happen if she would connect and pass her light? The light would be stronger, mm -hmm. more powerful mm -hmm. than the dark. All right. We've been doing this with many people yeah. for a long time. So she must be very powerful, isn't it? She must yes. be very strong. Yes. Thank you. She is. Tell me more. What do you know about her? Can you tell us more about what she knows? <clears throat> she came here to help at this time to heal the planet, to join with others, mm -hmm. to rid the planet of the dark, which has taken over for a long time. And how was it that you were put in her third eye area? How did, how did you manage? How did your masters manage to put you in her? There were many times we had the opportunity to be placed inside her. And ah. my masters took the opportune time to place her devices inside. Okay, was there some particular moment you can recall when she was unaware, when you would let us know? When she was unaware, when you were- When she to... was struggling <clears throat> around age 12. Oh, very good. When she had difficult time and her family was broken apart. We took that time to go inside. Very good. Thank you very much. And, and we've been there since. Thank you. And how exactly are you affecting her throat area? We <clears throat> make her cough and stop her mind from speaking the truth. All right. We also did affect her thyroid. Oh, OK. 
for you to do that and to have continued to do that, which affects her health. Mm -hmm. I see. Programs. All right. Would you tell us a little bit more about you? You sense yourself to being technology or do you have some organic spirit attached to no, you? No, I'm pure technology. a machine, I'm AI. All I don't right. have organic anything. Okay, so then you know that you don't have permission to be there today, and so that we have to remove you, you know that. We We're have to aware. remove you. Very good, thank you very much. <coughs> because she does not consent you to be in her body anymore. So this is now the moment we will remove you and you will be taken to some other part of the universe where you will be of more use or of other use. So I would like now to Archangel Michael to send a spark of or a beam of his electric light energy into the net and with this light to now dislodge the artificial, artificial intelligence, the technology that is placed in this one's body to dislodge it from everywhere where it is located in Debbie's body now. I want the blue light energy to dislodge all the energy of this artificial technology so that it's now, fu that it's now fully enclosed in Archangel My Michael's net. And as I count backwards from three to one, we're going to remove you now. Three beginning the process of removing the technology to almost removed all the parts removed from the body one up and out everything is pulled up and out of this one's body you're free of it and I would like Archangel Michael to cut the cords all the cords coming to Debbie's body from the Archon energy masters and all additional networks and wires and tentacles that might be connected, please, I want you now to cut all these cords so that she will be totally free and that she now can feel the difference when this technology is removed. And I please would ask also to, to cleanse all the space around her now, to cleanse all the space from any um, remaining energies, the auric space and the space around this one's body from all remaining energies to be fully cleansed and cleared. And if we, you could now flood some light into the areas where this AI technology was placed, what kind of color light would you like to place there? Purple. Very good, very beautiful. So I would like to flood purple light into all the spaces, all the gaps that were left in the body and to fully fill the gaps with purple light energy, which will affect all the cells, which will bring healing in every cell and fully renew the third eye area, the thyroid the throat area, the shoulders, the arms, wherever this technology was placed and reprogram every cell with this purple light energy. Okay, now that this is fully done, I want you to tell me how you feel. How does the third eye area and the thyroid area feel now that it's flooded with purple energy? It feels uh, feels freer with the mm -hmm. space. Okay, very good. So your body will remember and your cells will remember what just happened and will be reprogrammed by this. So this is very good. 
so as you scan the rest of your body uh, do you have any other places where you feel any discomfort or sensation right now Feeling some density, some discomfort in my lower back area. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Very good. Okay, so I, again, I want to ask Michael to be in place and to put his net around. Debbie's lower back area and the whole um, the hips and the lower back. Place the net around this area to enclose fully any energy that might be stuck or held in there. And I want you to focus on your lower back area and to sense this energy you feel there and allow it to become, to have a color. So if you would feel or sense this energy and give it a color, what color would that be? It's like a <coughs> brown, brownish, uh -huh. greenish, yucky. Okay, all right. Brownish, color. greenish. Very good. If this brownish, greenish energy could speak, what would it say? Allow it to go to the throat area to be able to speak to us today. What would you like to tell us today, please? I'd like to tell you, fuck off, get okay. away from me. <laughs> yes, all right, but we have to, we found you today, you know, we have mm -hmm. found you, which is, which means mm -hmm. whatever you say, you will have to leave, you know that, do you? No. Oh, so then if you don't know that, I have to tell you then that, that you don't have permission to be there. And whatever you will say now, today is the day that you will have to leave. So you might as well take the chance and speak to us today. No. Would you like to tell us who you are? Not really. Okay, all right. Would you like to tell us what you're doing there? in this one's body? Well, it causes pain and discomfort. Okay, all right. It's my job, it's great. <laughs> all right, you like that, I see that, okay. Yeah. So why are you doing this? Well, because I can. Uh -huh, Stops okay. her from being pain-free and this brings me joy. Mm. To what you call joy. Okay, I see. You must be very powerful, aren't you, to be able yeah, to... Yeah, of course I am. How come you are so powerful? Tell well, I suck all the frigging joy out of her. <gasps> all right, that's what you do, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. How mm. come that you're attached to this one's body? Because I could. Okay, all right. I wanted to. Good Why? choice. Uh huh. All right. I see. Because she's such a light. Yeah, I suppose I don't want to. Uh huh. Say that. Mm -hmm. All right. I see. And if you tell us a little bit more about you, we're curious to see who you are. Who are you then? I am God of Dark. God dark. A god of dark. A god in dark. Okay. A, very a god good. of dark. Tell tell us more about that. It's interesting. I don't know what there's to say. Tell us what you do. What's your take purpose? Take the light. Take the light. Take the light. Whatever way we can. All right. We That's are powerful. What's the goal of taking the light of others? Keeping in the dark, keeping her in the dark, keeping her down, keeping 
keeping her where she should be down. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, all right. And how were you able to get into her? She had a lot of troubles having a baby. Oh, okay. And we, we took that opportunity <clears throat> to just sneak in there with one of those embryos. Cool. I see. Is it more like is it you and is it more than just you? We are, we are the You're dark. Like the right. god of dark. All right. Very good. Oh, this is very powerful. But you know what? Since you know that you are so powerful, you know that there is a way to be even more powerful. You know that? No, I don't care. You don't care. Yeah. Would you like to? Would you like to become even more powerful? No. You don't. I see. And if I would tell you that there is a spark in everyone, and so it is in you, a spark of light, would you be interested in seeing your spark of light today? No. I see. Okay, then there is no other chance if you don't want to see that. If you don't want to go and back to the light and become more powerful mm -hmm. than you are right now, then mm -hmm. we will have to remove you. If you want or not, we will have to remove you today. So this is your chance. Good luck. All right. We are much more powerful than you are. So I want Archangel Michael in place. And it is pulled around you. And I want Archangel Michael to send his blue electric light energy into the net right now and dislodge all this brownish evil energy that is placed there dislodge all the energy that is placed there and now it's detached it's dislodged from the body and we want to this light to fully enclose every part every bit of this energy that is, has been placed there every bit so it is fully fully taken out and we begin the process of taking you out now three all the energy is dislodged from Devi's body two we're going to pull you up and out the process is even done we pull you up and out fully up and out from her body fully up and out and one you're out now you're in the net Michael has taken you out of her you're in the net you're out of the body fully. So Michael is going to take you to some other place to bring you to some other place where you can continue what you're doing right now, but you're not going to stay here anymore today. So now that you're out, is there anything you want to say to this one? No, I don't want to say anything. All right. Davey, is there anything you would like to say to this one? See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. So then uh, I would like Archangel Michael to please uh, give this hand this net over to Uriel and Ezreal. And you both please take this energy away, far away, to where it belongs, to where it cannot be of harm to anyone else, and to bring it very far away to some other part of the universe where it can continue its journey far away from us here and far away from this one's energy field and this one's timeline. Thank you very much. So it's taken away. It's gone. And now you may plot this gap that has been created by this brownish energy you can fill this gap with any kind of color energy you like what color energy would you choose to fill this gap with let's say white <coughs> white light very beautiful so then let's flood white light into your body let's allow the angels and also Kuan Yin and Raphael to bring 
strong white light into this one's body and to flood all the areas that had been affected by this energy and to replace any bit of this energy that was placed there and to reprogram every cell and to build a new energy grid of light in this area. And Debbie, I would like you to tell me how this feels now, how this area feels now that it's flooded with the white light energy. It feels... Uh, it feels different than free. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. I would like to ask Archangel Michael to check if there is any cords that have to be cut. Yeah, I see that there is a cord that has to be cut. So please cut this cord and any other remaining cords to this energetic form that we just removed. And also I would ask you to clear the auric field, the area around her body fully clear the auric field from this energy now. Thank you. Very good. Is there anything else? If you scan your body right now, is there anything else you feel in your body that's, that's not... My, my hand is hurting. Okay. okay, right. Which is unusual for me. Very it's good. like painting my, my whole hand. Okay. So then, please, Archangel Michael, put your net around. Is it the right hand? Yeah. Okay, around the right hand, Debbie's right hand, and to fully enclose this sensation and every other part of her body that may be affected by this energy, so, so that the net is fully enclosing the whole being, the whole energy form we just detected. And if this energy would have a color. What color would that be? So like a green. Green. Very good. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. And if this green color, this greenish energy color could speak today, what would it say? You may speak to us. You may go to the throat area of this one and speak to us today. What would uh, you like to say? I feel nervous. Mm -hmm. I see. I don't know why I'm here. I see. Don't be afraid. Everything is good. This is a very good day because today you're going to be saved. Tell me who you are. What do you remember? Who you are? Well, part of me is here in this person and seem to be going down into her leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. As well. A couple of us really okay. We we were her babies. Oh, I see. And we didn't want to leave. Oh, I we see. left her body, but we didn't want to leave. I see. We didn't want to leave her. Okay. see. So you say you were her babies. Yeah. I see. And you There's didn't two of us. I see. So you decided to stay with her, is it? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And My sister's in her leg. Oh, 
on the right side and I'm in her hand again. Right. Tell us, how is it being in her right side and in her leg? Just let us know so we can understand how you feel. Well, we were, we were sad that we couldn't be with her. And so we stayed because she was so sad to that we, that we left. Mm -hmm. But we didn't really leave, we're here. Mm -hmm. So we stayed with her for a long time. And, yeah. This is so kind of you, and this is also. But how can you tell us more about how you were affecting her life? Like, how would would Debbie know that you were there? Would you no. show her? No, no, she wouldn't. No, we Was just wanted to stay with her. And she was sad, and so we thought we would all be happier together. All right. Was there anything it, you were doing? No, really. We were just here. Okay. Tell me more. You just wanted to say something. We really just wanted to, to be born and to get, to have a life with her, but it wasn't meant to be. So we, we decided to stay. My sister and I decided to stay. Okay, I see. And it's been nice to be with her. I see. I can understand. My sister's in her leg. Mm -hmm. The same side. Okay. Yeah. Why did your sister choose to be in the leg? Well, that was a place for her to go. Oh, okay. So we could all be together. Do you know that there is a place where, we, where you can still be all together, but then you will have a chance to come back in an actual body of your own and be with her if you wish? Would you like that? Would you like to try that? Yes, I would like that. Both of you? Yes. Very beautiful. You know, because then you can be with other children and... And whenever you feel like it, you can choose a body of your own and come back. And um, do you think uh, that if, would you like to come back? Would you like to choose a body and connect to Debbie in an actual body of your own? I don't know. You don't know. Huh? I liked being here. We liked being here. I know. But if there's a chance to become, to have your, a body of your own, would you like that? Maybe. Okay. So, do you remember the day when the light was there for you to pull you through it? And you didn't go to that light because you wanted to stay with Debbie. Do you remember the day when the light was there for you? Yeah, I remember. Very good. And does your sister, does your, are you the woman? Are you the girl I'm speaking no, to? No, we're twins. Are you twins? It's my sister and we're twins. Both girls? Yeah. I see, okay. Do the both of you recall, can you both recall the day 
when the light was there for you both. Yes, I do, and so does she. Very good. So you know this light is there for you right now. And it's calling you so that you can become a body of your own and meet Debbie in a new body and have a new chance. And the light is there for you and it's calling you. Mm. Do you see that? Yeah. Beautiful. So I want you now to allow this beautiful and safe light to pull you through it. Just let go now of Debbie. And you will be reunited. You don't have to worry. You will still be connected. I don't want to really let go. I know, my love. I know. But you will not be alone. You will still be able to connect in a much better and deeper way. You'll have a body of your own if you wish. Okay. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. Okay. Just let go, my love. You will be fine. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just let go of Debbie's body and allow yourself to be pushed into the divine light of source. And I promise you, you will be safe. You will be safe and you will stay connected with Debbie. Okay. Very good. Okay, before you fully integrate back into the source light, is there something you would like to say to your mom? Well, how do I get out of here? You, you are already out. You are already close to the light. Once you're in the light, then you will be out of Debbie. You will be in the light. Tell me more. Tell me more about where you are right now, my love. Tell I don't me really know. Uh huh. Did you go into the light yet? No, you haven't. No. Okay. All right. Debbie. Would you like to tell your girls that something, would you tell them something so that they can go to the light and trust that everything is going to be all right? Ask Archangel Gabriel to take them. All right. They're afraid. Okay, all right. And I'll see you. I will. Very good. I'll miss you. I didn't know you were here still. You can go and have a life and be happy. You don't have to be with me, but I'll miss you both. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, may I ask Gabriel to take the both girls on their hands now. Mm -hmm. You will be safe. Don't worry, it's going to be all right to take the girls on their hands and to walk towards the light now. Mm. Very good. So you walk towards the light. They're in the light now. Yes. They're in the light now. Very good. And they've reintegrated in the light. Very good. And they will continue their journey. They will protect it and they will be safe. And they'll have the, ch the chance to get a new body. It's very beautiful. Now that those those are gone, those girls, those kids of yours are gone. How do you tell me how you feel? Tell me how that feels. It feels uh, the pain is gone. The, it's gone in my hand. And in my, oops, my leg was hurting too. That's gone. Okay. Yeah, I feel different. I could wait. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So and if you could flood, flood energy into those areas of your body, what kind of energy, color energy would you like to flood in there? Pink. All right. So then let's, let's ask Archangel Michael to send pink energy and Kuan Yin and Raphael to send pink energy into Debbie's body and to flood all the gaps with pink strong pink powerful healing energy very strong very high frequency energy and to fill the gaps and to program the cells and yes renew the body very good is there anything else in the other end sensation you feel in your body right now that is popping up there is one more mm -hmm. in my again it's in my forehead in the third eye area it's very dense and mm -hmm. very dark and very yuck it's thick all right. If it, this one would have a color, what color would it be? It would be black. It would be black. Yeah, all right. And uh, this black. It's color. like a clamp. It's uh -huh. like a oozing, gooey, clamp like thing, like all across my forehead. Like, all right. <clears throat> I see. So this, uh, we would like to talk to you, this black color. What would you like to say to us? If you can speak now, you have the chance to speak to us today. What would you like to say? Who are you? I am the controller. Mm -hmm. I see. Tell us more about you. I have been controlling her, period, every part of her. Oh, okay. Who she placed? said to fight us. Tell me more. What is she? She's had to fight us. Oh, oh. We've had control over her. She has to use her energy, which is what we want. We take her energy and any effort that she puts up to use for the good, we take. Mm. We have been in a so-called battle with her from her birth. Wow. That's so clever of you. So whatever good she does, whatever effort she takes to fight, mm -hmm. you use it for your own? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's your goal. Interesting. And how would this affect her life since her birth? What does it do to her life? It just makes life struggle. She has to work so much harder. Mm -hmm. It makes her power under our control. She is much more powerful huh. than she knows uh -huh. because we've been controlling her very in every aspect of her life. Uh -huh. See. You've been there since her birth, you said. Mm -hmm. Even before her birth? Yes. Tell us more about how it's how you attached to this one's energy. We attached to the mother. All her right. mother. Okay. 
I see. So w what was it about her mother? Why did you? Again? No, we didn't want her mother. We wanted her. I see. Okay, I see. We came in through her mother. <gasps> so when she was in her womb? Yes. I see. All right. And tell us more about how this works. This is interesting. Like, how did, do you manage to get into the, the, the unborn baby? How you do that? We got in through the mother when the mother was having difficulties and decided because we wanted this one. Mm -hmm. We wanted her. See. She's the one we wanted. Yeah, I see. I understand. So oh. we make her life more difficult. We have her whole life. I see. Make it harder for her, put the wrong programs, make the wrong choices, make it difficult, an uphill battle. I we do all that good and and who are you connected to who's your masters we are the masters oh you are the masters i see my god and do you see yourself as organic spirit or do you see yourself yes as okay. of course yes of course. i see oh that's strong that's we have big. not been on earth we have not been in you physical bodies, if you will. Mm -hmm. We oversee. I see. So tell us more about who you are. We would like to know that. We are the master controllers. Mm -hmm. We do this with those who are considered and in coming into this world as light beings mm -hmm. that's higher vibration mm -hmm. and we control their lives from the moment they're born i see and do you normally succeed doing this yes i see We're there time. for lifetimes, for the lifetime, the lifetime mm -hmm. of the person. And tell us, if, if the lifetime ends and you are not removed, do you remain with this? Person? In the DNA, yeah, we do. I see. Mm -hmm. Interesting. When the person comes back again in another life, we continue. That's so clear. And it goes on and on. I see. Never ending. Never ending. <clears throat> right. mm -hmm. So powerful. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So then um, you know that the today you have to leave. You do know that because you don't have permission to stay any longer in this one's body. Because it's something new, so there's a new cycle starting, and you know that, don't you? So you will have to leave today. So you say. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to willingly leave this one's body? I don't really want to go, but if that's what I... We don't want to go. There I aren't see. any of us. I see. Do you affect any other areas of this one's body? We affect every area. Her health, her thinking. Okay. Her, her entire life. I see. Her decisions. I see. Everything. Okay. Yeah, you are very powerful. I see that. Yeah, but you know that there is free will and everyone has the right to decide 
and she does not consent with you being there anymore. So then today we will have to remove you from this one's body. So I would like to ask Archangel Michael to come back in place and to pull his net to around every part of this one's body, probably around the whole body, whole of Debbie's body now, so that the whole body is enclosed, so that every bit, every little bit of this black energy is now enclosed within the net. Every bit is enclosed within the net. Very good. And I would like Michael now to send a pulse of his very powerful blue electric light into the net now. So that this black energy dislodges. Fully lets go now from Debbie's body. From every cell, every fiber, every part of Debbie's body. Physical and energetic body right now. And also from every bit and part of the auric field it might be residing in now. So now we begin the process of removing you. Three, starting the process of removing, dislodging from every part of the body. Two, pulling you up and out, nearly done, nearly out. And one, you are fully out in the net of Archangel Michael, fully out. You're fully out. And I would like to ask again the angels Uriel and Ezreal to take this energy form and to bring it far away to some other part of this creation where it can be of use and where it can continue its journey, how it is supposed to continue. And I would like Debbie to ask, Debbie, what kind of color would you like to flood into the gaps that have been left? Yellow. Yellow, beautiful. So please, I would like all the angels and the higher self to flood yellow light into Debbie's body and to fully integrate with every cell in the physical body and in the energetic body and to replace and to reprogram any energetic gap and any probably also malfunction in the body, replacing and repairing everything that had been affected for so long in Debbie's body and fully repairing and healing the whole of the physical body and the whole of the auric field so that from now on, on it will be functioning in a totally different manner, in a wonderful and beautiful and perfect way, as Debbie wishes it to be. Debbie, I would like you to just tell me how you feel now that it has been replaced with yellow energy. I feel good there. I just think there's more attached. Okay. There's right. something in my right sort of abdomen at the uh -huh. lower abdomen it's like okay. really hurting okay very good very good okay so again michael place your net around the abdomen area and to fully enclose the abdomen area and every other part it may be having his energy located okay all right then focus on the abdomen area now Mm -hmm. And as you focus, what kind of color would this area have? Um, brown. Okay, very good. Do this, this, hello, this brown energy now. You may speak to us today. We found you. And so it's time for you to speak to us today. Would you like to take the chance to walk to the throat and speak to us? Who are you? Really want to speak to you today. Mm -hmm. I see. 
you don't I just want... like to be left alone. Yes. Okay. I've been happy just in my area here. All right, I see. We are not here to harm you, you know. We're here to help you. There's not going to be, we're going to be here to free you today. Would you like that? No. All right. Why is that? Well, my job is to stay here. What do you Causing get? discomfort and sucking energy from her. Uh-huh. I see. Okay, then tell us more about what you get out of being there in her abdom abdominal area. What is it that you get? I siphon her energy. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. Why do you do that? Well, I'm told to do that. That's my job. Okay. Who told you that? Um, the master above me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is it? Who is your master? Jabai. Oh, okay. Tell us more about him. I don't know. He just tells me what to do, so I do it. All right. Cause pain, siphon energy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very good. And tell us more about you. I just do my job. That's what I'm supposed to do. Uh huh. I see. Sounds a little boring to me. Wouldn't you like to have a different life? I don't know. I've got a uh -huh. different life. Uh -huh. You know that, that there's a much, much nicer and more beautiful life you could have. Because there's a way we can free you today. And you can go back into the light and have a real life with a real body. Just as Debbie has a body, you can have a body. Would you like that? I've never had a body. All right, I see. But you do have a spark in you. As every, every soul, every spirit has a spark. Do you see the spark in yourself? Do you know you have a spark of light? I don't pay much attention to it. What's the point? I see. So then let's ask Kuan Yin and Raphael to send you some light. They were just sending you now some light into your energy. And make this little spark in you just a little bit bigger so you can feel or sense the spark of light. Can you sense it now? That there is something in you? Yeah, I do. Very, very good. So we want to make this even bigger. And because you are powerful, you can help us with this. To make this spark in you, the spark of light, even bigger, bigger. So that you can really feel that this is something great, something new. Can you feel that? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Okay, all right. So then, would you like to be pulled into the light so that you can become a soul of your own, not depending on any master or any other one telling you what to do? Would you like that today? If you yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is beautiful, my love. It's going to be beautiful. So I would like then ask Angel Michael to assist us today and to help you release from this one's body. Okay, I want you to just let go. Just let go of this one's body. And also Michael will help us with this light, his light, to help you release from her body. Just let go. Okay, we're going to pull you out now and you're going to be brought back into the light all right the light is there for you now can you see the light it is there for you now waiting for you to pull you 
Yeah, sorry. Oh, good. Okay. So then I want you to let go. We are been beginning the process now of bringing you back into the light. Three, letting go of this one's body, fully letting go. And two, pulling you up and out of this one's body, up and out. And one, you're up and out, up and out. And Gabriel is guiding you now, is helping you now, going towards the light and to fully go back into the light, to where you belong, to where you came from, to be free and to be renewed. And so before you leave, would you like to say something to Deborah? Sorry, I did this. Okay. And Deborah, would you like to say something to this one? Go in peace. Very good. Beautiful. Go in peace. All right. So, Gabriel, please bring this energy, bring the soul back to the light and help it pass over. And it will find what it's supposed to find and it will be free and it will continue on his or her journey as it wishes to. Very good. All right. So I would like also Michael to cut all the cords to this energy form, to this spirit that was attached. Cut all the cords, cut all the wires, all the remaining cords. And also cleanse the energetic field in and outside of the body from this energy. And um, Debbie, what kind of color would you like to flood into the abdominal region? Orange. Orange, all right. So then let's let's send orange light into the abdominal region now and flood it with beautiful bright orange color and renew it and let every cell be filled and flooded with orange color frequency now and be healed and reprogrammed now. Very good. All right. Very good. Is there anything else you sense in your body? Take your time to scan it one more time. See if there's anything else you sense when you scan your body. Okay. All right. That's good. So then let's do a, a quick chakra resealing or rebuilding just to make sure that the whole body is now fully reprogrammed and refreshed. So go to the root chakra and feel it being connected to Gaia, to the earth, and allow the earth to connect with you and to send you her beautiful energy into the root and so the root will be filled with the earth's energy and red color to be fully healed and protected and then allow the second and the third energy center to be filled with orange and yellow color and to be fully healed and protected also with the help of Gaia, with the earth energy coming from below, protecting all the three energy centers, the first, the third and the second from below. And then going up to the heart, the throat and the third eye area, they can be also be flooded from above. So we can allow white light, white source light, to flow from the crown into the crown, into the third eye, the throat and the heart, and to fill these areas with energy and to build the chakras so that they spin nicely and strong, so that the whole chakra system is strong and vibrant now and fully rebuilt and protected. And we will also reseal one more time the auric field of Deborah now with purple color so that the whole strong 
auric field of Deborah that now has remembered who she really is. She probably knew, but now she has been shown that she's such a strong soul. And now that she has freed, she has been freed from this, from these energies. We will protect her strong energy field with purple color light around her aura so that it's now fully sealed, fully sealed around the whole of her auric field. So nothing else can destroy or invade her energy field from now on. All right. So very good. So now I would like to call on to the higher self of Debbie. I would like to call on to the higher self of Debbie with much love and much thanks for what it has been doing and for protecting her always and forever. Can I speak to the higher self of Debbie now? Are you there to speak with us today? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you have been doing for her. Please let us know. Do you did we remove everything that had been had to be removed today, or did we forget something? If you check on her now. Things are good. Sorry? Can you things are good. Things are good, okay. Very good. Thank you for letting us know. Could you tell us how will this now change Deborah's life from now on? How will her life will be changed that she has been freed? She had a very dark entity that was controlling her her entire life. Mm -hmm. And now that that is gone, she will notice a huge shift and difference in her energy fields and her abilities will be become aware to her in ways that she knew were there but she didn't have access to. Wow. Will, will this just appear on its own or will she has, have to do something to bring them forth? From she won't have to do anything. Okay. She just needs to spend some time, quiet time, to meditate, and she will begin to notice things come to her mm -hmm. as they should have come to her. Beautiful. Yes. Tell us more, if you wish, about what it is that will come to her attention. We will direct her and help her to be able to connect with us mm -hmm. immediately. Wow. And she will have a direct access to source Wow, this is amazing. And what will this then change in her life when she will have direct access to you and to source? How will this change her life? She will continue to be connected to others who are on the same frequency, if you will. Mm -hmm. And everyone's role, as you were speaking about, is to increase the vibrations and to upgrade the planet. Uh -huh. All right, thank you. And would you say, because she wants to know that in her questions, would you say that the world will come, become aware 
of what's going on like will she she wants she she's wondering if the world is really going to wake up because she sees that there is so much going against this like the narratives that are published and that are told would you would you say everyone will eventually uh -huh. wake up oh however some are there already and but everyone will wake up mm -hmm. it some people have had more disconnection from source so they haven't had the ability their abilities have been hidden from them because they haven't been able to remove themselves from the consistent brainwashing, if you will, mm -hmm. that they have been under. Would you say in this process that it is important to do this kind of entity release work that we are doing? Is this helpful? It is helpful in that it removes the dark entities, the uh, energies, frequencies that have been keeping people at a lower level in frequency. So it does allow you to raise up your frequency so that your planet collectively, the higher everyone's vibration is, the higher the vibration of Earth will be. Mm -hmm. I see. Whatever it takes to begin to rise, raise up the frequency, whatever that is, whatever kind of healing that is, whether it's this or sound healing or water therapies or walking in nature, connecting with others that are of a higher vibrations and listening to music, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it will gradually upgrade planet which is what needs to be done because it's been held down and kept captive for a long long time mm -hmm. does it help to remove the entities yes it does because it holds people down you saw that today mm. with debbie mm -hmm. good When you say gradually, uh, gradually rise or gradually, um, the planet will be gradually freed. Could you tell us in in our human timeline thinking how, of how long would you say do we speak? Well, things are doing are going well. It might not feel that way, mm -hmm. and because there is such a tug of war, there is such a battle between dark and light, but for the most part, the light is winning. Mm -hmm. So gradually things are changing. It might just feel as though it's, you know, two steps forward, two steps backwards, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's really improving. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there's not, not not some, you know, you can just say until then it will be done or there's no such thing because can this be, can this be somehow uh, predicted or is it, is this not, not appropriate or not, not possible? 
What, predict it again? What is it? Is it asking? possible to predict when this process will be done, when the sanction will be? Or... The more and more people that are at a higher vibration and collectively, the quicker it will happen. All right, okay. okay. All right, we're not going to some physical your 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 people aren't we're going to some physical new earth you will just raise your energies up and there are those that remain at a lower vibration they will remain what you describe as 3d three-dimensional whereas others are going back and forth even now into other dimensions to 5d 7d 12d they're they're going because their vibration is higher. Mm -hmm. So, see. and you will just begin to, the, those that are in a, a lower vibration will begin to fall away from you. Mm -hmm. And you won't, you won't be on the same path because they're falling away. And you will begin to be in a higher realm where there is no dark, there is no evil really at all. I see. If you say many are experiencing that already, they're like there, you're not aware of it but you're stepping into this. That's what you're feeling with these frequencies, these energies. You're feeling the changes. I see. Is Deborah feeling the changes? Yes. Can you tell us more about how she's experiencing the changes? Well, I mean, you can. It's, it's kind of like she can. She has a sense that she's here, but she's not here. Oh, I see. She'll see, see things what appear to be in the corner of your eye, but you turn your head and there's, <laughs> because you're not, you're in different, you've slipped into a higher plane of existence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. And every, every, you know, night when people, when the humans are sleeping, you know, they're off going to different dimensions. Yeah. They're off doing their battles. They're off going to to their their other dimensions and other at the same time. Yeah. Going jumping from one dimension to the next. Yeah, I see. So but why is it that, that humans cannot remember this kind of journeys these journeys they do during the night well you you will gradually remember she's gradually remember uh -huh. gradually remember through your dreams you, uh -huh. you you will when you become more permanent in your higher frequencies the more you're there the more you become acclimated to them and you will remember mm -hmm. Is there anything in particular about her dreams that you would like to mention to her? Is there anything important about her dreams? She is remembering them more and more and uh -huh. aspects that we are telling her about become clear. We, we, we try and if she would write it down after she wakes up, she would remember, but she doesn't do that. Okay. That would help. <laughs> I see. That, that would help. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I see. Okay, and could you tell us a little bit more about, you said, these dark forces that were uh, um, imprisoning Earth for so long? Could you tell us a little bit more about these? Um, well, there's been a big attack and big battles. They came along long ago to take over um, the humans and Earth, and their goal was to... to take it over completely and there has been a war with with these dark entities and for the most part 
they have been, they are being removed. Mm -hmm. They are on all, they're all, all levels of reality. But still, they can affect so many light workers here on Earth, you know, with those attachments and all that. It's good to do this work. It does free them, the dark entities, mm -hmm. and it does free the light workers. It is a it is a good and useful uh, modality. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. All um, right. Good. She wants to know, she feels that the energy is feeling different, the quality of energy, as I understand it, is feeling different. Why is that? Could you explain a little bit more about why that is? The, the, the dark is it's kind of uh, on your last legs, so to speak. Uh -huh. uh, and the light is is really winning. It is, uh -huh. it is the the pushing of the final. We we need to just throw everything we can to in this battle to try and win. I'm uh -huh. speaking with the dark forces, uh -huh. but in fact. That's why people are feeling that there's a lot, a lot of increase in what energetically the dark forces are trying to to do to stop, because it's like the last breath, you know, their their abilities to oh, cause see. harm, to disturb, to suck any energy to to try and win this battle, but they're, they're not winning, mm -hmm. they're losing. Very good, that's so good to hear. All right, and uh, is there anything more you need to, to tell her about this, about the changing of the energy right now? Is there anything more? It's gonna be chaotic, it's gonna be difficult for a little while longer, perhaps this month oh. into the next, yeah. Okay, all right. There, there's, there's a lot of different levels, you know, of, of a reality that this is being battled on. Yeah. Light workers need to just continue on their path to help to increase it, the collective mm. together you're so powerful we can see that yeah is there anything deborah should be aware of or careful of the next like, like you say when it's going to be intense for the next weeks is there anything she should be aware of not to do or to protect maybe also her family um, she does protect her family and calls in you know, protection and shields that that is helpful to do that in terms of she will be able to connect with uh, with higher self and to source which will be good for her to stabilize her and keep her Stable, uh, I guess would be the word. Mm -hmm. I see. Does this? She saw. Uh, she saw a, a spaceship. She did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Could you tell? She me asked. That? She asked to see that spaceship. I see. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Is there anything more you could tell us about this ship she saw? She asked to see it, and so they they gave her that uh, that ship. They 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 wanted to be her to be aware that there are benevolent mm -hmm. uh, 
beings that are here to help the planet. And they, are, they really are here because they are watching and they are seeing this battle that has been going on. And they are here to offer help and support. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is humans don't, a lot don't realize how capable of how they, they, you, you can manifest what you want. Mm -hmm. If you ask for it, it you'll get it. Mm -hmm. And her abilities to do that are much quicker now. If she wants this, if she desires to have that, it was good you spoke about the gratitude because that is very important. It's also good to be connected with each other. Mm -hmm. That is very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it in any way important also to connect to the galactic, uh, um, you know, to the ones that are around Earth at the moment? Is there any use of connect, connecting, trying to connect with them? Uh, not necessarily for her. Others okay. have found that that is something uh -huh. for them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Did those? Uh, did those? Is, did those on the spaceship were they in some way connected to Debbie? Were there some kind of relatives or friends or? They well as all we are all connected. We are all one. Yeah, and. You're right, you're right. Uh, she, we are all family. Okay, all right. So, that's true. you are right. That's right. It's one of big family. You're right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is really true. They are, they may not be human, but they are, we are all beings and we are all from source. Yeah. All of us, even the dark ones, they just lost their way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. It's hard to see that uh, this on a 3D level because of the darkness that you're feeling and children are feeling and the, it's hard to see that they, they do have that, as you described it, a spark within, but they do, they are connected. Everyone is connected to source. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Debbie's going to find it a lot easier now to, uh -huh. because she has a direct connection to higher self and to source. Wow. She's, going, cool. to, she's going to be uh -huh. uh, feeling very different in her life very good. as time progresses. Amazing. Yeah. And it is being this needed to stop, this dark was much too, had taken over this planet mm -hmm. in a bad way. Yeah, it did. Yes. Can you, were there any other energies that were removed today that were causing her emotions that were connected to actual emotions? The she had? master controller energy oh, yeah. that was in, the dark one that was oh, yeah. in her forehead that was controlling everything within really everything within her on some aspect so she is grateful to you well it's not me it's yeah to you we are grateful to you guys well the archangels are magnificent yes they are absolutely mm -hmm. can, can you mm -hmm. oh sorry so okay. you wanted to continue. I just wanted to know more about this because I think it's interesting to see what this, because this is so amazing and how can, this was so interesting that this energy was affecting every, I just want to ask yes. if you could give us more details about this. This dark entity was managing, controlling, everything, what she ate, how she metabolized the food, her thinking, um, 
her view of things, everything. Uh, so it was a battle with her energy and the energy of this dark one constantly. So now that is gone, she's, she doesn't have to fight that battle. She will not have to. Mm -hmm. She will feel amazingly different because that demonic energy was very high it's very high wow. energy dark energy for me absolutely source that was wow. very powerful it was actually so when you talk about these entities and these energies being removed and if that is going to how will that help it will help as you do the other sessions that you do and it, it it's just these particular entities are are in many i would say almost every individual on this planet unless they've been removed mm -hmm. they have discovered how to attach and stay there and this is part of how they were able to take over this planet wow, wow. yeah so yeah. it's a very powerful modality it is it is we are grateful to all those who are working to help others because it is it is working mm -hmm. yes beautiful thank you and and how will this uh, how will this um, how will she feel uh, how will she know what will she notice uh, regarding her body and her physical functions and all her, her life what changes will she notice now that this is gone uh, there there is the freedom of her <clears throat> physical body as in her thyroid which has been controlled which has that will be free cool. she, that, she will no longer have that wow. that program affecting her she will not have to fight within herself about uh, what she wasn't aware of, <laughs> of when you make a decision about something and but it was always a fight which would take all of which would take her energy to do that and sometimes you just give in and she would give in to things not knowing what was being you know her thought about something was being controlled Wow. speaking was being controlled yeah her connection to her heart source being controlled her connection to source being controlled her connection to her children even being blocked and her husband being blocked wow. okay very 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 dark programming wow. very removed it's gone you did that with the My help God of the archangels my god i'm so grateful yes. beautiful she is also grateful she she's going to notice her life very different after this healing session with you wow. you're doing a marvelous job wow. we're very happy that you've chosen to do some of this work because it is necessary See, the light workers alone have been held down. I know. And in fact, we would say that everyone is a light worker. Absolutely. On this planet. Absolutely. Every single person. Wow. Yes. Some are just not. 
That's beautiful. They have too much dark on them, or they're not enough yet in there. But every single person here is a, is a spark, a source, mm -hmm. a spark, a source energy. Mm -hmm. mm. We will keep that in mind. It is so important. Yes. And and she would also diffuse this fits into this how she wants to know how best can she help to heal to heal the trauma of others. What she's doing, she she has like the gifts uh, that she's been told and the what she's doing directly, this work here that you just did today, also it, the past life. Some people are healed and like to be brought to this modality because that's what mm -hmm. that's what suits them and that is very healing for people. Mm -hmm. So for the trauma, people will be it will depend on which timeline that is chosen about how information will be brought forth, whether it will be bam directly. That hasn't been really clearly. It changes daily mm -hmm. about what will happen, whether it will be passed along quickly whether it will be gradually given to people so as not to cause further upset or harm, or whether it would be better to tell people. However, the trauma and removing the entities, which are usually brought in through trauma, mm -hmm. healing those, healing those attachments and removing them and having them go back to source, having AI go off to where it belongs in another universe, mm -hmm. having those removed mm -hmm. is a very effective way mm -hmm. of dealing and helping people to heal. And once they begin to heal, then they start to see their world is different. Mm -hmm. Their they start to see things from a higher perspective and it it will perhaps bring them to different careers or different ways of helping and being of service to others. Mm -hmm. And as our collective energies rise, everything will rise. And it will be a much different world for those of her. Beautiful. Would you say that the self-hypnosis she's doing is of benefit? Yes. All right. It's very... Um, effective very good and others can learn this easily oh. and they can heal themselves as well by doing that oh. it's a very it's a very effective way yes so she, she should also teach it maybe to others would that be also appropriate or yeah. <clears throat> yes that would be it would be good to do that mm -hmm. It seems mm -hmm. that she was doubting if she was connected to the higher self in doing this, but I feel that you just confirmed that she's fully connected to the higher self when she's. She is. She yes. Is, huh? okay, yes. Right. All right. Yeah, she, <laughs> okay. she is. She will be. It will be instantaneous, pretty much, uh, for her now. Okay. Yes. Which is actually the next. Oh, so yes. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. She wants us to to, to to ask if with what method she can manifest anything in her life. Manifest what? 
man she, what is the best method she can use to manifest manifest things what what's the best method how to manifest she already knows how to do that uh -huh. um she just puts the intention out and mm -hmm. we as you were speaking earlier with each other mm -hmm. uh, saying mm -hmm. you uh are grateful for what is here and what is what is now and here in your world mm -hmm. and also what is I suppose if you call the future, because you have the, you do have that, that in this 3D world. Mm -hmm. So you, she knows how to do that. You just, she continues to, to do that. That, that's how easy it is for everyone. Oh, you just good. calm yourself and breathe, do breathing, <laughs> and basically be grateful for what you have mm -hmm. and what potentially you could have and put your intention out i see mm -hmm. is could there anything be blocking this ability for some people well i'm pretty sure she had a block because of that entity that was she if you're speaking about her she had a block from that uh, master controlling energy that demon that was was on her so she you know was doubting her abilities um Everyone has the ability to manifest. However, you have to be at a certain frequency mm -hmm. in order to do that. You know, you, if you're going to manifest from a low vibration, you're going to bring all the dark stuff to you, uh -huh. right? Yeah. You're going to bring all the, you know, the, whatever the negative is, you're going to bring that to you. So your energy has to be in a higher vibration in order to, to bring what uh -huh. the higher as uh, frequency items, things, whatever it is. I see. Yeah. <clears throat> you can't bring positive things to you if you're in a low vibration. I see. Mm. It just won't happen. All that nonsense about just say it and even if you don't believe it, <laughs> that, that is not true. Mm -hmm. You need to be, first of all, you need to be at a higher vibration in order to bring things to you and manifest. Is there any possibility to bring up things from the subconscious mind to manifest things that are not conscious to you? Uh, you know, un unwanted things, even when in a higher vibration? Um, I mean, collectively, you know, things can be brought mm -hmm. um, because it's in the collective, the fear and oh, so on. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. <clears throat> is that what you're asking yeah probably i i just thought <laughs> of that because i heard that actually yeah mm. okay i see yeah. so it can happen if this it's a collect collective subconscious belief well, look at all the people that <clears throat> were able to be all the, all the stuff that happened because of the fear that was in the general population mm -hmm. true yeah absolutely this, you know in relation to that that uh, illness mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you know, and how that was all that was all brought in on a, a low vibration you know because of the fear the fear that everyone had so the collective is very collective uh, is very powerful oh yeah mm -hmm. I noticed. you know regarding those those evil I mean, so-called evil people here on earth, the ones that are putting out the narratives and the elites and the ones that do child trafficking and all that, these people that we would call bad and evil. Can you tell us more what will happen to them? How will this, will they be removed or will they be? Uh... Well, on a 3D level, they will be made accountable for what they did. Uh -huh. um, and uh, they're, there is really truthfully a, a alliance that is around the globe that uh, was started in the United States and it's spread around throughout the world. There are military of higher that will make people in the countries accountable physically on this 3D plane for what's wow. being, what is, what has happened. 
Does that answer your question? Yes, absolutely. Thanks. That's wonderful. I mean, in terms of source, uh, their judge, there will be judgment for things that they have done to children and others on that level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Although it's not a religious situation, oh. it's done as a unified, we are, we are all supposed to treat each other with love and kindness and that is not part of that and that is not going to be tolerated from in that aspect in that way from source all right yeah it's not a punishment it's more like a lesson i see Deborah feels as if she's waiting for something. Is she waiting? Is she do? Does she really waiting, or why does she feel like that? I think it's the energies that she was feeling here oh. on the on Earth that have been extremely chaotic now, and uh, with this program that she had in her in her forehead, which controlled everything. That certainly, you know, gives gives her questions and fears and so on that that's going to be relieved there there definitely is an energetic uh chaotic energetic situation going on mm -hmm. in the world right now mm -hmm. because of it's like the final as i was mentioning it's the final and the destruction of what these beings on a 3D level are still trying to push through and then also their ability to have dark entities are all on working on another level with them. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She was told that uh, that it is the goal of light workers to connect all over the world and to build a network and to uh, to help each other and the planet. Would you say this is accurate, or could you uh, would do do you want to add something to that? That is true. It is accurate. Oh. As I mentioned, we are all light workers on here. The, this yeah. planet. Uh -huh. Everyone's a light worker. We just right. some are waking up at a different time. All right. So in other words, you the light workers, all of the light workers are bringing bringing together, gradually waking up, and it's all of humans. I see. So that that connection is extremely important to connect on a, a heart connection to other humans, aka light workers. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. And would you think that um, would helping others incorporating the SCHH and BQH uh, with narcissistic abuse and trauma uh, focus help others now and in the future? Well, it will be difficult for those who are made, who are not awake, mm -hmm. that will become aware of these people mm -hmm. who have been controlling and doing, causing harm uh, purposely. This will cause a great deal of pain and trauma and on many levels because it's it has infiltrated this darkness has infiltrated everything pretty much on the planet mm -hmm. the food you eat the water you drink the, mm -hmm. the 
schools, what you're taught, the education system, the, the judicial system, the banking system and financial system. You find out uh, religions um, that even what your planet has been told about to you, what it, the history that you have, all of it has been uh, lies. And when people find this out, they will require the help of those who are already awake and how to deal with the trauma, how to deal with, mm -hmm. with their pain, okay. whether that's to give them a helping hand, give them some food, give them, you know, a listening ear uh, because they're just not awake. They're programming and they, they have some, some very, many of them have some very deep programs and entities attached to them. So to have those removed and then be awake and realize what's really going on, mm. it will all be hard for them when they find out about the shots and you know, that they were lied to about all of that mm -hmm. people. So and in terms of the narcissistic abuse, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, narcissistic abuse, they're, they, they're particularly dark forces. They, they have very little light. They have no conscience. They have no remorse. They are dark entities. Yeah. So to incorporate that into this work would be helpful for people on this level, yes, mm -hmm. and also on a spiritual level, the uh, energetic level, rather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have anything, any important message for Debbie right now? There's something that she needs to know? This session was mix, was very helpful for her, and it will prove to be a profound and changing uh, positive aspect for her in her life. It is life changing today for her because you have done this work with her. And we are grateful. That's wonderful. I'm very grateful. It's because of you, I know that. But thanks for helping and saying that. You are a, a light worker. <laughs> and you need to continue to do what you do. You're valuable powerful yes sweet thank you so much would you say that there's anything else i forgot anything else that is important to mention that she needs to know today no continue to stay close to those who are on the same frequency whether it's around you physically here or it's in another country can't say how important that is because it is very important mm -hmm. as, as i've mentioned you are very powerful together one one light being is very powerful imagine all the light beings all of you connected mm -hmm around the globe imagine how powerful that will be imagine 
if you're all connected from that source of light, that this darkness would not be able to be around that. Mm -hmm. This is why many of the ships are here watching. Mm -hmm. They're watching this. They're watching the creators. We are creators, we being you, mm -hmm. all of us here. You are all creators. Wow. They're seeing it in action, watching to see how we get rid of a darkness and a force that has taken over humanity for centuries. It's very beautiful, very big battle. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you say that there is anything regarding her past lives? Because you didn't look into that because I wanted to go straight to the higher right. self. We're all good. Would you think you think we're all good? Or would you, is yeah. there anything you need to show her regarding her past lives that is important for her right now right now no, at this moment? Not today. The entity work today was what really needed to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the most important that needed to be done today. Good. Is there anything else I might have forgotten? If you could no, check. You, you, you haven't forgotten anything. Okay, good. It's good. It's all good. Very good. So then do, would you, would you, do you have a final, final message for Debbie today? No, I just know that everything is, is the way it should be, is going to be working out in a much easier flow. Continue what you're doing. Continue. You're taking the right path. And just continue to be doing what you're doing and don't, you won't be doubting yourself the way that you were. It will become easier in a way that you'll just be like, wow. This is amazing. You're going to be free from the darkness that has been holding you down for a very long time. Wow. Well, since you were before you were born. Wow. Absolutely. Amazing. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough for this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we we're grateful yeah. to you as well. You know. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. We